First and last name. Nicholas Hernandez. Position. I saw a uh, middle linebacker, quarterback. All right, school. Browns Park High School. And class. 2016. All right, who's the better player out of you and Nate? You would probably even the match. Hey, don't give me the political answer. <laughs> give me who's the uh, better I player think, out of you and Nate. I'll put I you on the spot. Be a bit <laughs> he, he's a big man. All right, big, man. I had to get you. I had to put you on the spot. Now, as far as an inspirational person within your life, who would that be? It would probably be my dad. Well, he's been struggling his whole life. He just passed away last week. Mm -hmm. And he's just been fighting for longest. And uh, he's the person I look up to. Does that give you motivation to have a better season, yes, fight a little harder, yeah. reach your goals a little faster? Yeah, because I dedicate this season now. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Now, Penelope's part, same question to you. East Lake or Countryside, which team do you like to play better? See, I would, I would say Countryside because this boy is on Twitter. <laughs> The social media, huh? Social media. Okay, the, yeah. the countryside's got the social media game going, huh? Yeah. Now, Eastlake, I know you guys always had that good game in Eastlake. And, you know, us as the media, we always like to hype that game up because it's always something on the line yeah. with Pinellas Park versus Eastlake. It's either a playoff spot or it's a district runner up or whatever the case may be. It's something always on the line when you guys play Eastlake. Have you guys circled that game on your schedule oh, this yeah. year already? Of course, just like Nate said, the homecoming game, they tried us, yeah. Of course, we circled it. Talk that W this year. Oh, there you go. Okay. Talk to us about you guys uh, coming together as a team. How has the off season been for you? Oh, I mean, it's it's been good. I mean, our offense coming together, our defense, you know, it's always there. Our offense coming together, our pass game, like Nate said, it's going it's going to be there this year. You better watch out. Good. No, team school. No I heard a few secrets. I heard yeah, a few secrets about it. You, I can't say everything. Yeah, I know you can't. <laughs> I heard a little bit though. Yeah, you put a little something in there. Good. 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 Talk to us about recruiting. How's it going? It's going good. Like school's coming every other day. Okay. Marshall came to the practice yesterday. Okay. School's coming. Yeah, Marshall was here today. Good. Who's talking the best right now? I would say Marshall because they call they call Crawford about me. Mm -hmm. they, I just saw him today. Mm -hmm. Talking good. Yeah. If there's one player that you want to play against this year, not necessarily because you don't like that player, but it's a respect factor. It's a healthy rivalry. You respect him. You think he's a good player on the opposite side of the ball. Who is that player that you want us line up against? Probably countryside quarterback, just because he gets all, so much hype. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that he's not good. I just feel like because we beat him every year, right? Just uh, they just talking, you know. Nah. I feel like we gonna beat him, man. I feel like I'm about to throw about ten touchdowns, run for ten touchdowns. Uh, my defensive ball, go with Nate said, go 140 tackles, five plus sacks, ten TFLs. I'm going babysitter.